Welcome back to the Urban Farmyard where this city girl goes country. Today we're chatting about ringworm. Lots of fun. Hi guys, well here in the rescue centre we have a little kitten who unfortunately has come down with ringworm and her new adoptive family had a few questions so I thought it was worth turning those questions into a video. Ringworm, despite its name, is not actually a worm at all and that's the first question her adoptive family asked us is how has she got ringworm when we know she's been wormed and the reason is worming treatment kills worms, ringworm despite its name is not actually a worm. Ringworm is exactly the same as athlete's foot in people. It's a fungal infection which has a superficial impact on the skin. In people you'll get rough dry scaly bits which become quite itchy and in in cats you end up with a similar sort of reaction but it's also accompanied by hair loss in the areas where they have been affected. Now cats can pick up ringworm from all sorts of places. They could pick it up from another cat, they could pick it up from a human who's got ringworm and has been handling the cat and they can also just pick it up from the environment. The ringworm fungus infection lives on surfaces so in humans for example you're likely to pick it up in places like changing rooms at the swimming pool. In cats they can pick it up from an infected enclosure, infected bedding, or they can pick it up from places like just the soil outside. The fungus can live quite happily in warm, moist soil. The way we treat it is quite simple. This particular girl is being given two different forms of tablet, one twice a day and once one every 12 hours. All we do is we grind it up, we mix it in with her food and we pop it in with her. Now she needs to be on this treatment for three weeks until she reaches the point that she's no longer infectious. At the end of that three week period we're going to assess her. We're going to see how those areas of fur loss are looking and see if fur has started to grow back. We're also going to check to see whether they're red and raised and inflamed or dry and scaly and at that point we may continue her treatment for a little bit longer. However, if it looks as though her treatment has worked and has largely cleared up after three weeks, then we'll be in a position to discontinue treatment and send her off to her new home. Can you catch ringworm from a cat? The short answer is technically you can, but it's not that likely unless you are very young or immune compromised. Adults, including adult cats, don't tend to pick up ringworm because we've got fairly robust immune systems. The most likely situation where you are likely to catch it is if you've got an open wound that has been in direct contact with an area of ringworm on the cat. So here we're just treating this reasonably cautiously. We've got this little one in isolation. I've asked the volunteers not to clean her cage. I'm taking care of cleaning and sanitizing her cage each day and I'm wearing gloves and washing my hands after I do it. The chance of me picking up anything is extremely remote but we're just being a little bit cautious to be on the safe side largely because we've got a lot of cats in the rescue center and we don't want to risk transferring it to anyone else. So there we have it, a beginner's guide to ringworm. I hope today's been fun and I'll see you back here tomorrow.